Hello and welcome to this presentation on solution for industries with our integrated energy automation system and power management systems. My name is Tayyab Shamim. I'm working in technical sales and promoters team in digital grid energy automation system headquarters located in Nuremberg, Germany. In today's presentation, we shall be covering the requirements of owners and operators of industrial power grids and Siemens answers to these requirements. Then we will see the conventional or traditional ways of achieving these functions, followed by our recommended approach and the benefits of our solution. For industries, electricity is not the main focus, but still a necessity, since all industries need electrical energy to run their business activities, production of goods, etc. Energy intensive industries like oil and gas, metals, chemicals, etc. also have in-house generators or captive power plants to meet the demands of electrical energy in cost optimized and reliable way. Of course, this also brings them additional challenges during operation and maintenance. Throughout this presentation, we will see these challenges and the solutions. But for now, let's see what are the main needs of industry grid owners and operators. First and foremost, high availability and reliability of electricity is the primary requirement since without power there is no production. Also, there are huge monetary losses associated with interruptions in electricity. After that, safety of personnel is another big concern. And security in this context here refers to the cyber security aspect which is another high priority for the customer in today's age. An energy automation system can fulfill some of these needs in a very efficient way. And lastly, all the solutions should be possible in the most optimized input cost and they should also result in lower operational costs. The architecture on the screen shows the implementation of typical energy automation system in an industrial plant. As you can see, there is one main receiving high voltage substation along with multiple distribution substations located very close to the process. Most of the feeders on medium voltage level and in incomers for low voltage side are having IEC 61850 compliant protection devices. On each substation, there are controllers used to seg concentrate data from substations and also to segregate substation network from the main plant network. The main features of energy automation system are control and monitoring of electrical distribution system, collection and analysis of fault record data, creation of alarms, events, reports and trends. All these features enhance the transparency in the electrical distribution which are helpful towards improving availability and reliability of the plant. Also, knowledge about power consumption by different equipments in the form of reports or trends is the first step towards improving the overall efficiency of the plant. It can also help you to benchmark equipments from different manufacturers and some of our customers have seen significant cost benefits with this approach. Regarding safety, industries typically have large number of switch gears and there is a risk of arc flashes. Therefore, operating the circuit breaker from safe distance is the smartest way to be safe. Thus, remote operation of feeders from control center enhance operation safety to a large extent. And lastly, from cybersecurity point of view, our products and systems are compliant to latest cybersecurity standards. The controller CP8050 is also equipped with an optional inbuilt firewall to let only through secure and whitelisted traffic. Thus, the energy automation system supports the operator to fulfill the basic needs and our customers are also able to generate value out of it. But still, there are more challenges to overcome, especially in plants with in-house generators. Imagine a plant generating some power in-house with generators and importing rest of the power from public grid. In this situation, if public grid income trips due to any reason, 
this could result in the deficit of power inside the plant or consider if a plant is operating in island mode without grid interconnection a trip of generator in this case can cause serious power deficit and frequency may start to drop due to the unbalance in available power and consumed power left untreated this could create a domino effect and lead to the total blackout in the plant. This is generally huge cost for the plant owners due to the wastage of raw material under process and also the time invested to clean the plant due to large restarting times of the power plants. However, these blackouts in this situation, they can be mostly avoided by implementing a load sharing system. Talking about load sharing, which in itself is a very broad and open term. To make it more concrete, Siemens offer fast power based load sharing as the primary protection against this type of scenarios. The basic idea is to trigger the load sharing sequence with the occurrence of contingencies or triggering information without waiting for the frequency to fall. This means if a grid incomer supplying 20 megawatts of power is tripped due to a fault, the load sharing system will shed 20 megawatts minus available spinning reserve from other generators in the plant. The operator has to define loads participating in the load sharing and based on the operator defined priority and real time power flow over these load feeders, the load sharing controller always shed the right amount of loads. This means operator has also the chance to change load priorities from HMI screens. The load shedding system is also considering actual power flow over the feeders and current plant topology information to shed right amount of loads which are electrically connected to these contingencies. Now dynamic power based load shedding is used to prevent the overload of generators in island mode. The operator defined spinning reserve is maintained in the plant at all times to avoid getting into overload ranges. An enhanced version of frequency based scheme is provided as a backup in the plant. The frequency based load shedding is kept completely independent of the main load shedding controller so that it remains available in the worst case scenarios. Usually load situation keeps on varying in the plant depending on production schedules and process requirements. This load behavior may become prob problematic especially in island mode as it can influence voltage and frequency stability in the plant. The automatic generation control system has modules like load frequency control, spinning reserve monitoring and automatic voltage control. In islanded situations, the task of load frequency control is to keep track on the difference between target frequency and the current frequency. And based on this delta of frequency, it calculates the required generation in the plant. This information is then passed on to the load sharing module to distribute the set points to the available units based on their regulation participation factors. And in the same way, automatic voltage control keeps track of this delta in voltage and provide this information to the load sharing module, which in turn distribute the set points to the available generators. Not only this, in grid connected mode, automatic generation control can also effectively give commands to the generators to control power exchange and power factor at the point of common coupling with the grid. And last but not the least, how can all these functions be delivered at a cost optimized way to our customers? In order to answer this question, let's look into the traditional ways of implementing these functionalities. Traditionally, energy automation, load sharing, 
and generation control applications were seen as separated systems. Before the advancement in IEC 61850, PLCs were generally used to achieve fast applications, but that me meant duplicated wiring from the field for the same indications like circuit breaker status, measured values, which are once already wired in the protection devices. And then again, they, are, they need to be wired to the input-output card of the PLCs. All this duplication could be avoided by using same components for energy automation, load sharing, and generation control applications. The information which is once wired to protection devices can be acquired by the controller using IEC 6850 protocol for making load sharing calculations. And same protection device can also be used for shedding the loads. This is also the most logical way of achieving the load shedding application. Imagine a protection device failed during operation. It is quite unlikely that this feeder will be charged without the necessary protection in operation. Even if this feeder is charged without protection, there will be no impact on operation of load shedding function as it will consider next available load in its calculation and skip the load with faulty relay. Hence, there is no effect on functionality. Also consider the fact that any redundancy considered for protection devices will be automatically considered in load shedding system. And all this makes sense because load shedding is as critical as a protection application. The architecture here shows the implementation of load shedding within energy automation. The load shedding controller is the same product as energy automation, which is CP8050. The load shed controller acquires all the values from the generator and feeder protection device using IC6050 protocol and performs its calculations. Once there is a fault, a goose message is sent from generator protection device to the controller, which in turn sends goose message to shed the required loads. And all this is done within 70 milliseconds. With this approach, we can completely eliminate additional input-output cards or duplicated field wiring. Also, with fewer components, spares and trainings are also reduced greatly. The architecture here shows implementation of generation control function. Here as well, you can see the controller is based on CCAM A8000 CP8050. To summarize, Siemens Digital Grid Integrated Energy Automation can provide you a reliable, accurate, fast, and cost-optimized system for all your needs. I would also like you to welcome for one-to-one -one discussion in case you are interested in more details. Thank you for watching this presentation.